Welcome to Fret Knot. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the High Gain series. This is a series of reviews of custom made guitars, and if it sucks, we will tell you. That's right. This week's episode is going to be on the Reichart. This is a custom made guitar built in America. I called this Luthier and gave him a couple of ideas, and he pretty much ran with it and uh, created this masterpiece for us. Um, it is a 25 and a half inch scale, um, and it is a metal monster. As you can see, we're going to get a deep dive into the specs here pretty quick. Uh, let you know how it's built, kind of a time frame it took to build it. Um, we're also going to talk to you about the price of it and the playability and how we feel about it. What do you think about it? It demands respect. <laughs> it kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So um, this is the first one we've reviewed that is in a um, high gloss finish. What do you think about that? It's beautiful. It's, it uh, is a nitrocellulose. I don't believe well. I'm saying that wrong. Nathan, don't kill me. Um, but uh, that's the finish on the guitar. Uh, it's made out of really nice wood, as you can tell. And we're going to get into all that. We're going to break all that down. But as far as playability, when you grab it, how does it play, man? Like butter. We have a lot of guitars that play like butter. You ever notice that? Mm -hmm. All right, so turn up the volume <laughs> on and let them hear something here in the room. And then uh, we're going to put this in the mix for you. We're going to let you hear it in the mix so you kind of have a better understanding of how it sounds. Um, so play something on it. Very mean. Yeah. So pretty much everything we play on this channel, unless we tell you, will always be in drop C tuning. Now we do, uh, we have our seven strings. A lot of times those are in drop A. Mm -hmm. um, we just feel like drop C is kind of a universal phenomenal tone. Yeah. Uh, most any of these guitars can go, you know, higher or lower. Uh, but we try to keep the strings from having to go up too much on the string gauge. And the way these guitars are built, man, it's really easy just to take them down to drop C, take them down a step, and then you know do a drop D configuration on them. Um, what do you think about the pickups on this one? They got some pretty good tone. They really do. Mm -hmm. They uh, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna tell you who it is yet, but we're gonna do the specs on all that here in just a minute. Um, I think all in all, uh, Reichart guitars. They're an American builder. I think they knocked it out of the park um, yeah. once again. He didn't have a clue we're doing any kind of reviews. Uh, we just called him and you know said, hey, this is what we want to do. Can you make this? And he's like, sure, I can make it for you. So I happened to have a friend that, or uh, an acquaintance on YouTube that does uh, other reviews, and he had reviewed one of his guitars in the past, and that's kind of how I learned about this builder. If you don't know about this builder, you must go and find him. He's uh, got a store on Reverb. And like I said, he's an American builder, so we don't have to deal with the overseas, getting it back and forth across the water stuff. Uh, I literally had it in two days after he shipped it to me. <coughs> so that, that part was fantastic. Um, the reason we do these videos is to show you what you can do, regardless of the price point. All we did was sit down and research and go through YouTube videos, find Instagram you know, shorts, posts, whatever, and we found guitar builders, and then we kind of messaged them and said, hey, you know, what's your time frame? Could we get a custom? Do you have one you got built that nobody picked up, nobody, you know, bought it or whatever? And most of the time, you got to wait in line. Most builders are four to six months. Some builders even further out, just depending on what their, you know, supply and demand issues are at the moment. But uh, we got a we got a really good um deal with Nathan. He's the builder. This is a one-man show. Built this from scratch by himself, and he does all of his guitars that way. Um, just an overall great guy. I messaged him on IG. We talked for a couple seconds. Big deal. I just sent him my phone number. He called me. He said, what do you want? I told him. He goes, yeah, that's right up my alley. I'll make that for you. So <laughs> that's all it was to it. And um, 
communication. We'll get into all that here in a little bit. So play it one more time, Colton, and then we're going to switch over and we're going to do specs. <laughs> Okay, um, next up we're going to do specs, then we're going to let you hear this in the mix. We're going to come back and we're going to tell you our overall thoughts and impression of this builder. And if you hang out, maybe in a little bit, we'll give you a sneak peek of what's coming next week. <laughs> I take it you like it. It's pretty good. It uh, it jams. <laughs> so um, these are bare knuckle aftermaths and. Um, I told him I wanted bare knuckles, and he was like, man, you got to put aftermath, aftermath in this because of the wood. So that's what we did. We've got a hip shot uh, bridge here, and then we've got hip shot open gear tuners on the back. Um, I, if, if you know me, I pretty much do hip shot everywhere. Turn it around and show on the back of the neck, and I believe it's a, a maple neck. Um, and then you're going to have a sapile body. And then this, the front, the front cap of it is also a maple and it's just a piece of wood that he had. And he was like, man, that would just look sick on that. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. So on this one, it does have, I may get a shot for you. I may not, but it does have lumen lays down the side, but the fret markers are also lumen lays. So if this is under light for any amount of time and you turn the lights out, you just have a glowing guitar. So it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm, it's pretty neat. We did the uh, Dunlop, um, the snap-in strap locks on this, so they're flush mount. I just love those. I love how they're you know they're not always just sticking out. And then we're going to have an ebony cap over the electronics. Um, kind of hold it up and let them see the uh, plug on the back. So that's a, a recessed plug. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It you know it snaps in real nice and secure. So. Everything on this is just polished, and I'm not talking about the clear coat. I'm it, everything, every joint, every section. It's just, it's amazing um, what one person can do when mm -hmm. they sit down and do something by hand. Yeah, it's. Uh, I couldn't be happier. There's probably not a guitar that we've got on this series that you know that I'm not happy with, but some of them just kind of really stand out. And uh, you can tell this guy really knows what he's doing, and he really knows how to build guitars. Yeah, it's just it's just solid. So Nathan, like I said, um, Reichart Guitars is located in America. He does primarily does six, sevens, and eights. Uh, he has some very mean and aggressive seven and eight strings. We may be getting another seven string from him here soon. Uh, just depends on uh, his workload and stuff. Uh, but you'd be um, you're really making a mistake if you don't try to reach out to this guy. This guitar is on par with anything, uh, and I hate to use it as a standard, but anything that you know the Wood Library PRS makes, anything upper echelon like that, it, this is this is a guitar player's guitar. Mm -hmm. um, the cost for this was somewhere between thirty five hundred and thirty seven hundred dollars, thirty eight hundred dollars somewhere in that area. I forget all the little ins and outs. They're about $3,800. Let's, let's just say that. Um, he made it for me pretty fast. Now, don't call him <clears throat> and say, Rob said you'd make it for me fast. <laughs> it's it's workload. It's what he's doing. And he actually built this while he was remodeling his whole shop. So that was really cool. He'd send me pictures. The communication level is on point. Um, because he's in America, I mean, I'd text him or call him. He'd call me. have a ton of pictures through the build. Uh, yeah, it was just, it was, it was really cool. He mm -hmm. told me all the next steps when he'd be doing them. So it's, he's very well polished and he has everything laid out. 
Um, here in just a second, we're going to get you over to the mix and let you hear it in the mix. Um, what are your thoughts on the guitar, man? Um, I mean, I, I feel like I'm like the simplistic one when it comes to the details, but right. I, I really, I really just love the finish on it. I, it's beautiful. The back of the neck, I don't know if you can tell uh, on the video, but it's, it's just got this kind of angry, fiery kind of red that really just matches the front. And I just, I like that a lot. Like, it, because the back of the neck isn't really seen a lot sometimes. Right, right. So I, I try to appreciate that. Right. So the one thing about this builder, he can make you anything. Uh, he's going to be happy. If you tell him to make you a seven or an eight string and make it as dirty and nasty as it can be, because <laughs> that's what he thrives at. Uh, he does make six strings, obviously. Um, and I ordered this because this was kind of a, it started out to just be a six string show. Uh, inevitably, because of supply and demand, we ended up grabbing a couple sevens. And um, oh, yeah, if you're watching this video, I hope I'm right. Third, fourth, and fifth of May. Um, this guy's going to be at the Dallas Guitar Show. And uh, if you're anywhere near Dallas and you can get to that show, I know he's got a an eight-string he's made uh, that he's taken up there and probably some more stuff. And you really go put your hands on one of these, man. Um, can't say enough good stuff about it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to quit talking. We're going to let you hear what it sounds like in the mix. We've told you this is uh, Aftermath pickups, all hip shot gear, uh, the most amazing maple cap and uh, Sapile back, the fretboard on this. this guy, it, I called him right before it got done, and he, I said, uh, what are you shipping it? And he told me the day. And I said, man, can you put it in drop C for me? And he's like, yeah, I'll set it up for you. And it came just like this. I, this is one of the guitars that I did take to my luthier just to check, and um, he didn't touch it. But he sent me a text. I took him a couple guitars that day, and he sent me a text back, and he was like, man, thank you so much for bringing that over here. I really I really am glad I got to see that. I'm going to do some research on that guy because he can really build guitars. So what are your overall thoughts, Colton? Um, like I mentioned before, it, it just it plays like a dream. Um, the action on it is very nice. I do appreciate that. Um, I've noticed some some guitars I play that it feels like the bridge is kind of close or to the neck or it's just short. That's, that's not the case with this. I know that's a weird thing to bring up, but it just, it feels normal. It feels natural. It just, it feels great. Plays great. So on this particular body, and I don't know if he actually has a name for it or not, the, if you'll look here, and if you're not looking at another guitar, it might be hard to see, but if you look where the bridge ends, you've only got this much guitar behind it. Now I've got other guitars over here. The bridge ends and the back of the guitar is way out here. So when I first picked up the guitar, I was like, man, this is a 25.5 and it feels this compact. Mm -hmm. The neck on this is a very thin, uh, I would say it's like a thin C. Um, it, it's just so it's, it's phenomenal. But so if you ever played regular guitars, just, you know, entry level, maybe up to slightly intermediate and somebody lets you put you know, your hands on a, like a real flying V, uh, the expensive ones or a real PRS. Um, I don't want to mention Les Paul because it's, it's a different type of, of setup. Um, 
a really high end uh, Ibanez. When you pick this guitar up, it feels different. It doesn't feel like um, you have to work to play it. Yeah. It is just sets in your in your hand. It cradles it, and it's just like it's not there. Mm -hmm. which we found has been the case in quite a few of these guitars. Now, we do have another one we're going to be reviewing in two or three weeks, whenever we get to it. And that company, which is a huge company, has a different take on the neck. And uh, you can ask Colton, like when we first got it in, it was a couple of days before he got to play it. And I was like, man, I don't know what to tell you about this neck. <laughs> it's different. It's great, but it's different. This mm -hmm. is a shredder's dream. Yeah, as soon as you play it, like, the, the first note, you know what it's about and you know what it wants to do. Right. It's mm -hmm. it's made for speed. Um, so anyway, we went on and on about this. Can't go and say enough about Reichardt Guitars. It's American Builder. Do yourself a favor. Go to the um, Reverb channel. He usually has a guitar or two for sale on there. Um, you hit him up on IG. And he has a website, and it's just reichartguitars.com, I believe. And if I'm sure. wrong, Nathan, you can kill me. <laughs> um, if you don't know nothing about this guy, and you go spend this kind of money without seeing what this guy's got, I, I just feel bad for you. Yeah, you might, you might be buying another guitar. <laughs> right, right. So if you ever play this thing, uh, I really, you know, unless you just absolutely can't afford it, I, I really don't see you not buying one of these. Um, so... Why don't you let me hold that, and why don't you get the Lacello, and we will talk about what we're doing next week. Man, the colors on this thing is just amazing, isn't it? It is. It's pretty nice. It's almost like he built it for me. Uh -huh. Okay, so coming up next week on our next episode, which will be episode four, since this is episode three. Mm-hmm. We're going to introduce you to a new builder, and we're not going to tell you much about him tonight because we want you to come back and see it. But this is Lacello Guitars. Um, they're a Canadian builder, or he is a Canadian builder. I called him on short notice. I said, man, I need a guitar. And man, did this guy deliver. Um, still, turn it around and let him see the neck joint. <laughs> you, you just, you, anyway. <laughs> you just know craftsmanship when you see it. But man, is this thing nice. And it's going to be the full review. Maybe sometime in the middle of the week coming up, we'll get you a, a little sound on it. And uh, then we're going to do a full review on this baby. And uh, introduce you guys to Lacello Guitars out of Canada. And keep this in mind. If you're in America, you get this guitar literally a few hours later than you get an American guitar. It's, it's the shipping is really quick out of Canada to America. So we had no issues with anything. We'll get into that on the next video, but until the next video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, you know, share this to somebody, you know, that plays guitar. Uh, we're not professionals. Everything we say on this channel is our opinion. Um, we're here to show you Kind of the part of buying a custom-made guitar that you don't really get to see. It's, uh, you know, it was tough for me, and I was like, man, I mean, I, until we started doing this series or prepared for this series, I've never bought a guitar and put my hands on. Right. Yeah. That's Thanks. tough, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's just, I mean, it's just tough to do that. But I learned that with the advent of YouTube and other social media sites, IG, and if you do your re research, you can get a good, clear idea of who a builder is. Obviously, you can call them, but who they are without them telling you. Yeah. And then you know more about what you're trying to do. And a lot of times, you know, we're we're 10 for 10, man. We're spot on. <laughs> we're, we're knocking them out of the park on this stuff. Every one of them, by doing the research first, we're just... Couldn't be happier with every one of these builders on what they've made for us. And we still have one or two more on the way that are going to be here pretty quick. So, episode three, Reichardt Guitars, America. Do your homework. Check these out. If you wait a year or two and you buy two or three more guitars, I feel bad for you. <laughs> if you don't go check this guy out, it is what it is. And then next week, we're going to be doing this. This is the Lacello Guitars. 
out of Canada. So uh, until then, stay tuned. Stay tuned.